The year is 2021, and Pokemon cards are more popular now than ever before. Oh my god, we did! I still remember that exciting feeling of opening a pack as a young, not bold child, and also having a ridiculous amount of those strange energy cards. I would go to my friend's house, which wasn't illegal back then. Stay at home. Stay at home. You must stay at home. To gaze in awe at his incredible collection of Pokemon cards. But the coolest of all of them? The rare, shiny Charizard. And he had at least three. That son of a bitch. Charmander was my favourite starter Pokemon. So it makes sense that the ultimate evolution as a shiny is the holy grail of all cards to me. It might just be nostalgia, but... It would be really nice to finally own one. I wonder how much they're going for. Shiny Charizard card. Well, guess I gotta make my own. So first step here is to make Charizard. I started off with some silhouettes, but they kind of suck. It looks like Batman with a tail and a big arse. It looks like an elephant doing a handstand. I tried sketching over it, but that just didn't work either. Delete. I thought maybe a more sectioned approach would work, but is that a hand or a beard? And why is his neck so messed up? Delete. It's going horribly. The colours are bad, the values are all wrong. At this point, I'm questioning my entire ability as an artist, because it just sucks. Delete. Relax. Trust the process. It doesn't have to be perfect. Finished, not perfect. Yeah, you're right, imaginary friend. It's not going to be perfect straight away. Making art is like trying to reach the top of a mountain. You start at the bottom and take one step after the other. And you might run into problems and have to take a detour because the original path doesn't... <laughs> You're only drawing a Pokemon. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm glad I didn't just delete it again and give up. And with that win behind my back, give me enough energy to ride the wave through the rest of the Pokemon card process. Get some references, match the sizes, bish bash bosh, we got ourselves a pixel art Pokemon card. Yay! But it's only 2D. What if I made it 3D? We interrupt this program for an urgent announcement. Who's that Pokemon? It's just me. Ding, ding. Quick fire rounds. Number one, it's Oddish. Ding, ding. Number two, it's Jolteon. Ding, ding. Number three, it's Weezing. Ding, ding. What if I made it 3D? This doesn't look like a card at all. After a couple of videos, I knew that I just had to create the card base, add the textures in a UV map, and make sure all the settings are right for pixel art. And there we have it. I think that looks pretty good, but it's not shiny. There's only a small section that needs to be shiny. How hard can it be? Blender card, shiny how? Okay, so I just gotta go to shading mode and mess about. Easy. Well, that's not quite right. How make only one part shiny blender? So I need to make a texture mask for the area that I want to be shiny. This doesn't look right at all. What the f- You know what the problem is? I'm used to layers. Art has layers. What the f is a node? So with some help from Discord, I finally sort of understand how the nodes work. Now I've got some options to try out. <laughs> oh, and there it is. That looks awesome. And seeing that card shine really brought back that nostalgic feeling again. But this time it was merged with a greater sense of satisfaction. I learned so much on this project and grew so much as an artist. There really is no greater reward. So how do I print it out and sell it? 